Well, hi, everybody. It's time for the Raiders to get serious about expectations right now. GM Mike Mayock did that today out in Henderson, and Chris Matthews was there. The legendary Al Davis once said, the fire that burns the brightest in the Raiders organization is the will to win. And that is certainly not lost on this Raiders organization this year. In fact, General Manager Mike Mayock saying just today that this is the best 53-man roster that he's seen as a Raiders general manager. In fact, he says it's playoffs or bust. We think we're going to be a pretty good football team. Uh, we're not hiding from expectations. I think John and I would both tell you that we feel like we need to be a playoff team this year. And I don't think there's any doubt about that. And you guys are all going to put that in your headlines, and, and I understand it. Um, but we're not, I mean, that's what the expectation is. We think we've done um, the infrastructure work necessary to put us in position, and we've got to take care of business. One playoff appearance in nearly two decades won't cut it. Everybody in the organization, inside, outside the walls, are saying now is the time. And if that offensive line can come together, Mayock says they may have something special here. Everything grows from the, let, let's put the quarterback on the side for a second. That's a special conversation. But beyond the quarterback, I'm a huge believer that your offensive line kind of drives your entire team and certainly your offense. So Mayock also talking about the importance of getting ready for the Baltimore Ravens, their season opener at Allegiant Stadium on a Monday. Monday night. He says they've got less than two weeks to prepare for that huge matchup. With the Raiders at the headquarters, Chris Matthews, 8 Sports Now. All right. Thank you, Chris. And yes, that opening night, September 13th, Monday Night Football. A lot of tailgate parties cropping up around the city. Fan Fest Vegas is having one about a block away from the stadium is all. Check it out. Fan Fest Vegas.com for information there for tickets. And check this out. Mark Davis has submitted plans to the city of Henderson for a new home in the hills. <laughs> this is nice. Looks sort of like the practice facility with a few more angles, don't you think? By design. The lot, by the way, just the lot itself sold for six and a half million bucks. The address, you're going to like this. The address is 77 Sunset Strip. Got to find out the backstory there at some point. Okay. The Rebels open Thursday night in Allegiant Stadium against the Eastern Washington Eagles. They finished 5 and 2, the Eagles did last season out of the Big Sky Conference. The Rebels' biggest question this year is probably a quarterback, and they have a few choices. These two guys figure to split time early. Number five, Justin Rogers, a junior out of Shreveport, Louisiana. And number two, the lefty, Doug Brumfield, sophomore out of Southern California. I mean, they both know that at any point we could say, you know what, you're going to go roll out there. I think they both prepared that way. We've switched them off and on with the ones the entire camp. Uh, we've switched them off with the ones the entire spring ball. Neither of those guys would flinch uh, regardless. We called it today or we called it tomorrow. We called it on Thursday afternoon. It was kind of awkward at first just because there was a lot of new guys, but, um, you know, we got a grown relationship. I love all of them like they're my brothers. Um, you know, anything that I know that they don't know, they tell me and vice versa. We just want to go out there and just perform, you know. We're, we're not worried about who we play and we're, uh, who they played before. It's just it's each down, one down at a time. So we're going out there really focused and just set on one goal, just win the game. Yes, win the game. I love this job out here, okay? To be the guy on the cart spraying down the players would be fun. <laughs> the August heat, okay, is out there. 7 o'clock tomorrow night at Legion Stadium. No vaccination cards needed. Just show up and watch football season opener for the Rebels there tomorrow night. Also tonight at 11 o'clock, I want to mention Kevin Kruger. We're going to hear from yeah, Rebel basketball. Yes, we're going to talk some Rebel basketball and preview that season coming up tonight at 11 o'clock. Let's go back to you, Brian and Denise. Ron, can you get us an invite at that Raiders house party? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> that looks at like 77 Sunset Strip. <laughs>